Well, many fans are really, really wondering when we're finally going to get some Fantastic Four out of Marvel Studios. We know the movie is coming in 2025, but details have been far and few between. Now, Fantastic Four director Matt Shackman has had a lot to say in the last couple of days, including some news about casting and his decision to leave a major project to take up the Fantastic Four for Marvel Studios. He even talked a little bit about when production will kick off, so let's dive into the whole thing. Now, one thing Phase 4 of the MCU has brought in is a lot of new faces behind the camera, and one of those people was Matt Shackman. If you remember correctly, he directed WandaVision, and before he was picked up for Fantastic Four, he was actually set to helm Star Trek IV over at Paramount Pictures. Now, Shackman really has been pretty tight-lipped about most of this until recently, but he did talk to the rap a little bit about bringing Marvel's first family back to the big screen and how difficult of a project this was to turn down. During the interview with The Rap, he said, I had a great time working on Star Trek for over a year, working closely with J.J. Abrams and everyone at Paramount, and I love that franchise, and I love the cast J.J. put together, and it would have been unbelievable pleasure to work with them for the fourth installment. But movies have different journeys and momentums, and schedules are a little bit mercurial, so when the Fantastic Four opportunity came up, it was just too hard to pass up, and to go home to Marvel, a place that I worked WandaVision at, with those people who are wonderful collaborators. Now, Shackman really didn't dive into any story details, but he did give us some interesting ideas on what drew him to the team in the first place, and pointing out some of the similarities between the Fantastic Four and the Star Trek franchise that completely worked for him. During that same interview, he said, It's really a family there, and to be able to go back and tackle something that I truly love, and they're very similar in some ways. They both were launched in the 60s at the same time. They're both about optimism and how looking to the stars and technology can solve everything. And they're about family too. The family you have and the family you make. So they're aligned in many ways and speak to my heart and equally. So I am excited to be working on Fantastic Four. Now it sounds to me like Shackman really has a great grasp on what should work for this upcoming project. And the family aspect of the Fantastic Four is what they absolutely have to sell to get Marvel's first family to come to life in a way that will connect with fans. Now one thing that keeps on popping up is some of the news about casting, because we've been getting a ton of news. Ever since we saw John Krasinski as a Reed Richards variant, fans have been wondering of whether he'll return or if somebody else will take up the role, and we've been hearing a lot of names. Over the last couple of weeks, Adam Driver, Dev Patel, and Ryan Gosling have been linked to the role. And many scoopers have been diving right in to talk about this and really drive the expectations that it could be one of these actors. Now, recently, Shackman talked to Collider in a different interview and kind of clarified this a little bit and basically shot it down. During that interview, he actually said, All the casting stuff you see is just rumors. We're early in our process there. We have nothing to announce right now. And certainly, when we do, we'll let you know. And then he went on to say that shooting will begin early next year. Now, once again, it sounds to me like a lot of these rumors that we've been hearing about who Reed Richards is going to be or any of the Fantastic Four are really, really premature. Shackman did go on to say that he'd been reading the Fantastic Four since he was a kid, so it sounds to me like he knows exactly what he wants, and the fact that he didn't dive into any of these rumors and made it pretty clear they haven't cast anybody yet is a prime indicator of where Marvel Studios is at this moment. Now, the Fantastic Four is critical to Marvel Studios' future, and I think they really do have the right guy for the job in the form of Matt Shackman. He seems to have a good grasp of the characters, the family aspect of it, and after watching what he was able to do with WandaVision, I am nothing but excited. Hopefully, we'll get some casting news made official really soon, but honestly, considering the movie will go into production early next year, I wouldn't be surprised if we had to wait till this summer at Comic-Con once again before we finally get this news.